Hey everybody, in the past couple of videos, I was telling you about the three different business models that there are. You can do property management, rental arbitrage, or actually purchase the, the contracts. We've also gone over max rent, okay? So you need to know all of this knowledge before you can actually go and take action. And so what I'm gonna do over the next couple of videos is I'm gonna show you rental arbitrage and run the numbers through rental arbitrage so that we get our max rent number. And then I'm gonna do the same thing for property management. And then you're gonna be able to see the difference in max rent with both of those options, right? Then from there, then we can actually start taking action and trying to find the listings that are available. So uh, for this video, I'm going to start with going through rental arbitrage. Okay. So uh, the very first, so this is an overview of what it looks like. You're going to get this template. It should be down below and you can just download it. Otherwise it's going to be in the package and you can, uh, the, the owner's manual and you can download everything from there. Okay. Um, so once again, rental arbitrage is what we're going through. And our objective here is to figure out what the max rent is going to be. Now to explain max rent very quickly, max rent is a formula that I created, which allows me to know um, the maximum amount that I can pay in rent to a landlord and still cover all my expenses and make a certain dollar amount in profit, okay? So you wanna make sure that you're accounting for the amount of money you wanna make for yourself. So I've made this very easy. It's just a step-by-step -step, uh, process and there's formulas already put in here. So everything just calculates itself and then it pops up the answer. Right um, now, the total revenue number is actually what I'm going to start out with. So 80,000 is the number I'm going to use because that was a number that we are using in our uh, past couple of videos. So I think it only makes sense to add 80,000 in there. So 80,000 is the number I'm going to use there. Now down here, what I want to do is I want to actually state that I want to make $20,000 of profit. Now, if you're doing rental arbitrage, um, $20,000 of profit on an annual basis is a really good number to aim for because it's going to give you a nice cushion like there's not enough um, enough money being made that if mistakes do happen you still should walk away with profit right whereas if you're like oh i only want to make five thousand dollars per home um for managing the home for an entire year and taking all this, all this crazy liability which i strongly recommend that you don't do um but if you were to do that like five thousand and say something does go wrong you could very easily lose like half of that profit or all of it uh very quickly so uh shit happens uh, especially with the airbnb business shit just happens so be prepared for that. So $20,000 is a really nice, nice buffer. Uh, you definitely can bring that down to 15. You can increase it to 30, 40, if you only want to look for homes at that amount, but uh, 20 has always been the number I go for. Okay. Now cleaning fees. Um, this is going to be where we're, we're pretending it's the three bedrooms that we were doing before. So we're going to assume that uh, we're doing about six turnovers and we're going to assume that it's going to be, let's say $120 per clean. Okay, and then we're actually going to times that number by, oh wait, no, we're going on a monthly basis. So we're just going to keep it at that. So that's how much it's going to cost us on a monthly basis. Is that right? No, I got times this all by 12. I apologize. So we're times that by 12 as well. And that's how much we're actually going to be paying the cleaning company to clean our homes um, over the entire year. Now, a little hint here, open your own cleaning company. Trust me on that. Uh, the next one we're going to go for is amenities. So amenities will roughly cost us about $100 per month. It can honestly be lower than that. It could be higher than that. Uh, just whatever you think is best. Now, water bill is typically a bill that does not get uh, expensed when you rent out a home because water isn't split up very easily. And so typically the landlord actually covers all that. So just for the most part, for this example, anyways, we're going to assume that we're not paying any water. With the electricity, we're going to assume we're paying about $150 a month um, over the entire year. We're going to do the exact same thing for gas. Uh, I like to even those out because you tend to use more during the hot season and less during the cold season for each. Um, we're going to assume we don't have a pool. We're going to assume we don't have any lawn service that's needed. I'm not going to pay for cable because I'm just going to pay for internet and provide Netflix. And that tends to be enough. We're going to assume that the Netflix or the internet's about $75 a month over the entire year. And then our streaming service is, uh, let's say $15, uh, for Netflix and that's over the entire year. And then maintenance, what we want to do with, with maintenance is this is kind of like my buffer room where I always like to add a, a quite a bit more because you never know what can go wrong. So I always like to put about $200 a month uh, set aside. And that's just in case, you know, the couch were to break or the table were to break or uh, a big hole in the wall or, or something goes wrong with the plumbing and like whatever it may be, right? You just want to really make sure that you're covering your butt, your ass there. <laughs> Almost didn't swear, but then decided to. Anyways. Um, let's keep moving on. So now you can see here, what's automatically happened is our total expenses have been added up to about 16,920. Our total expenses is everything in the green right here. Okay. What you'll notice is the one thing that's not added in is our, uh, rent or yeah, is our rent, right? Um, now the next line is our total expenses, this number here, 
uh, plus the profit that we want to make, which was what I added in way up here already, right? I said I want to make $20,000. And so that number has been added in. Um, and so we get our total expenses and our total profit comes out to 36,000. So the remaining uh, revenue for rent is going to come out to 43,000. So this is our expenses. Okay. This is our total revenue. So it's 80,000 minus 36,000 comes out to 43,000, right? Um, and then what we do for the max rent to make it very easy to go search for properties is we then divide that uh, remaining amount for rent by 12. And what we end up with, with is 3,590. Okay. Um, now, like I already mentioned with this max rent number, we're, I'm going to show you how to actually use it in the field, how to go out and take action on it. Um, I've most likely already talked about that in the max rent video showing you how it's actually going to be useful. For this video, what we're specifically doing here is just showing you how that max rent number changes if you're doing rental arbitrage or if you're doing property management, because rental arbitrage, you're taking on all the liabilities. And so you want to make sure that there's room for profit. And you can find a home uh, that'll do that for you. But with property management, the whole idea is that we want to make the landlord more money, right? That's the easiest way to make a sale is to prove to the landlord that they can make more money if it was an Airbnb than if it were to be a rental, right? Um, and so that max rent number is going to be the number we're going to use to prove that to the landlord. So for this example here, if we have an $80,000 um, potential annual revenue that we're expecting to get, we want to make $20,000 of profit. Uh, and these are going to be all of our expenses for that for a three bedroom, then uh, we can pay about $3,590 in rent to a home, uh, to a landlord and expect to make that $20,000 of profit. Okay. Now let's hop over to the next video where we're going to go through the property management one.